In this guide, we'll show you the slice backhand. Let's start by looking at how a slice backhand differs in flight to that of a regular backhand. The slice backhand crosses the net at a lower point than a regular backhand and then stays low in the court. Its lower bounce also makes it difficult for an opponent to attack it. However, because the ball travels low, it also goes further than the basic or topspin ball, so it's also easy to overhit the ball and land out of court. It doesn't matter if your regular backhand is single or double-handed. For the slice backhand, you need to hold the racket with one hand. As always, let's start with the grip. For right-handers, a good grip for a single-handed backhand moves the hand anti-clockwise around the handles from the position of the continental serve grip. Holding the racket with the edge of the frame pointing at the ground, the V created between your thumb and index finger is further to the left of the center of the handle than for the serve grip. For left-handed players, the V should be the right of center and from the continental grip, you rotate your hand clockwise. Holding the racket in this way means that as you swing your arm through for the backhand stroke, your wrist will be comfortable and you'll be able to contact the ball with the string square to the back of the incoming ball. Start in the ready position with your racket in front of you, your knees slightly bent and your weight on the balls of your feet so you can move in any direction. Watch the ball closely and move towards where it will land. Most players will hit slice when the ball is low, but sometimes slice is a way of controlling a ball that has bounced deep and high. As you position yourself to the ball, turn sideways, rotating your hips and shoulders and take the racket back with both hands so that it's above the height of the incoming ball. As you begin the forward swing, take your free hand away and swing the racket from high to low, finishing with the racket extended in front of you. Contact the ball to the side of you and allow your weight to transfer forwards as you hit the ball. Try to throw your non-racket hand out behind you as you swing the racket forwards. This adds power to the shot and will help keep your balance and the high to low action generates backspin on the ball. The strings of the racket brush down the back of the ball and then the racket moves out in front rather than moving across the body as it has done in other backhand strokes. After contact, move quickly to a good position on the court so you're ready for the next shot. The slice backhand should be hit as a single-handed shot, even if you hit the basic backhand with two hands. Move from the ready position to where you judge the ball will land. Get your feet in position and turn sideways, taking your racket back so that it's above the height of the incoming ball. Release your non-racket hand and throw it backwards as you bring the racket downwards and forwards behind the ball so that you put backspin on the ball. Finish the stroke with the racket extended well in front of you and your free hand stretched out behind you. Recover quickly and move to a good ready position for the next shot. ball. As you begin the forward swing, take your free hand away and swing the racket from high to low, finishing with the racket extended in front of you. Contact the ball to the side of you and allow your weight to transfer forwards as you hit the ball. Try to throw your non-racket hand out behind you as you swing the racket forwards. This adds power to the shot and will help keep your balance and the high to low action generates backspin on the ball. The strings of the racket brush down the back of the ball and then the racket moves out in front rather than moving across the body as it has done in other backhand strokes. 